Welcome to late to the show. I'm gonna bring another upgrade for all you gamers out there. So it's been overheating too much. It's giving you issues. I'm gonna show you a couple of things you can do here. Uh, gigabyte video card, if you guys notice. Pretty neat, pretty large card. Three fans, of course, cooling up the whole system. But there's one thing that's a problem. It's overheating. It's been a quite a while since you did anything to it. So there's a couple of things you can do first of all. Take it out, take it out. One thing, take it out of your machine. Get all the dust out of it, all the freaking dust bunnies are caught in it that maybe be clogging your actual fans in here. Make sure you disconnect everything out of here. But I'm going to show you another step now. Now, if you're going to mess with this video card, you might void the warranty. So be careful what you do with the video card because it's very, 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 very delicate. Now, before you start out anything, you got to make sure you have a static free environment. All right. And unfortunately, this is a plastic and it creates a lot of static so we're gonna put the video card here i won't be static free i will be static free because the cardboard it's not touching make sure you touch some sort of metal metal you're gonna need an air can if you don't have an air can get a straw blow it out use <laughs> something improvise but don't blow out too much because you might create moisture that might go into the motherboard itself of the actual gpu so be careful on that now you're gonna need another thing you're gonna need cement all right CPU, GPU, cement, all right? This is very crucial because we're gonna replace the old one. We're gonna remove the old one. We're gonna try to add the new one in here and clean it up a little bit better. So air can first, not that much in here, but what you wanna do in the air can, um, don't use it now after you remove this. So let's go ahead and remove this and I'm gonna show you exactly. So there's a couple screws in the back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in the back that you have to remove. Seven crucial screws, all right? So remove all the screws, first of all, that's important. And then the next step is a little harder. If you're not familiar with hardware removal, now these have a little spring, so just be careful not to lose them. And you can tell where the spring ones go. And let me bring that camera over so you guys can see better. All right, so we're gonna commence with the disconnection of all this. Let me get the rubbing alcohol air supply and all that stuff out of the way so we got two screws out right now so far we we'll get the next one all the screws make sure you got the right tools before you even commence this um, so list of things to have here is a little screwdriver I have this one it's a really tiny one it has multiple kits um, has multiple heads on it it's a little tiny one I had this for probably 10 years almost you know they don't make this no more they do have different brands but and they do have the same one but it's cheaper material now um it's called boxer it's really neat i like it a lot uh like i said i had it for 10 years plus going now over 10 years i bought this in fries a while back ago so here's another screw three more and we should be done removing all these so now that we remove this stuff, it's now it's a matter of replacing the front heads. You see the front? We got to remove the front. It's very important to remove the front. So before you remove the front, there is a screw right here that you got to remove it. It's on the side of it and it's holding on uh, the front plate. And it's a large screw, so it's pretty much removed. Now, once we remove that, you got to remove these two in the these these screws right in the front. So we got to remove these. Now you got to remove these front of it, the front end. For that, I got one of these crimpers. Just twist it. Once you twist it, easy to remove the front. That's where the actual um, DVI connects to. So all you have to do is loosen it up a little bit. And, and once they loosen it up, it's already loose, you can tell, huh? You remove the front plate. The front plate goes out, easy, like that. So there's pretty much nothing connecting the video card now. It should be a matter of just splitting the video card, disconnecting it from the actual, and this is the hard part right here, there it is. So loosen it up. Make sure there's no other screws that you missed all right, before. Make sure you check that. You don't want to damage this. So uh, I don't see anything now. So I'm going to dismount. See how easy it came out? It's a little, the glue still there. The stickers are just coming out. Now you're going to have to disconnect this part. And this is a little tricky here. You you got you to gotta find a way 
to disconnect these things here. So once we remove all the screws and everything out of it, you pretty much detach them. But before you do that, there's connections to all three fans. They're connected to the actual motherboard. You see here, there's one here, there's two here, and then there's another one in the back. So the hardest part is removing one first. So you can actually, and I will start with the one in the back by itself. So just to remove that, it's gonna take a bit of a, strug a struggle because I don't have nails. There's one, so if you notice, Make sure that everything's in place here. So we just removed it. This is the actual CPU from the GPU. And make sure, we're gonna reuse these because I don't have extra ones. We're just gonna do a cleanup. I don't need to do, remove these two. I could just leave it as it is. But cleanup will be to fill your fan. Make sure your air goes through the, the other side. Make sure it floats in there. There's nothing connected in there. Make sure everything's clean in here. Now we're gonna clean this part of it, the actual CPU part, some cotton swaths, but I don't recommend cotton because cotton kind of grabs itself too much. This is also cotton. Um, I got some alcohol. We're gonna put some alcohol, a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to remove that. See how dirty it is, all the dust? It doesn't seem like it's conducting very good no more. It's pretty old. So we're gonna clean this part of it. And we don't wanna get too much of it. Just a dab of it for now, so we could remove it. And keep it nice and clean. See all the cement that we're getting out of it? All the cement's coming out. tedious about it make sure that you make sure you take your time so I clean up as much as I can in here just a little couple of gloves but I'm not gonna be able to get everything in here like I said there's some things that are impossible to do it maybe get a, a business card or something and oh we clean as much as we can from the top and the front so now it's time to enclose the whole thing and make sure that everything's in clean in here. So I'm gonna take a wipe, a couple of wipes out of other things here, just to make sure that all the dust is ready. And uh, maybe put in some more. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. We're gonna open the cement now. Now you wanna do cross sections, all right? So we wanna do cross section on here. And we do it slowly. Cross section. Don't worry if you get any on the outside. It's fine. It's all gonna come in the end. So here we are. We got some of it in there. I'm gonna make sure we lock this out. We're locking it out, saving it. It's too much. It's not that much. And you can also get a little swab here. And then you can start moving it around if you want. Like just a little bit. Dab it everywhere if you want. Make sure every the whole GPU gets it. And even in the outside, don't worry about it. Just just make sure it's all in there and make sure everything is covered in there in fact it's going to get covered some more right now as soon as i close it so now we got it ready so we're ready for for this part of it so this part you got to be careful on it you got to do like a little sandwich on it so i didn't disconnect them both i didn't need to i'm just going to connect these two and reconnect them and put some more so we're adding make sure it's a sandwich part remember the sandwich so find the find without touching it right now without touching it, this is the most critical part of it and let me see if I can connect this part of it first got it got it <laughs> so I connected it and I'm gonna drop it now it's okay if it, it moves a little bit it's fine it, it's supposed to it's okay it's, it moves a little bit so you find it connect it and sandwich it in there it's ready to go so all the conductors are all base all of them are set up already it's it's ready it's sandwiched in all the connections are connected so now what we're going to do is reconnect all the cables all, all the um all the screws actually so the screws belong in certain areas so i'm 
um, not too tight. And then all we need is the four screws. All we need is all the four screws and we're done updating and cleaning up the GPU, getting up to speeds. We clean up the fans. We threw some air in there. We wiped the whole GPU out of it, added new cement. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in your comments below. Well, that was a simple cleanup of the GPU. Now, these things are very expensive. They're going almost a thousand bucks, some of these. This is a 1080. It's uh, very expensive out there. Um, large video card, but if you're gonna keep playing and keep burning this, this out, you gotta make sure you maintenance. At least take it out and blow some air on it, or you could just do it where it's it's on in the system. Make sure all three fans are running all the time. You know, just a, a visualization of the just the fans. Just make sure they're all running. Make sure there's nothing loose, and it has three three connections to the to the actual mo the motherboard of the GPU uh, on the fans. Each fan should have its own power supply, so it's all on power connection. Make sure all the screws are conducting. Make sure the light turns on. The actual light here on this um, GPU indicates a couple of things. Um, there, it, if it turns red, green, blue, whatever, it indicates certain things, certain trouble, it's overheating, turning. You could actually manipulate this this light here too. Also, now this card is a solid card. It's it's been it's one of the best cards I run with so far. It's been my bread and butter for quite a while. But other than the 1080 Ti that I have now. Uh, this is a, it needed a cleanup since the beginning. I got it maybe a year and a half, a year ago, almost a year and a half ago. But I put a lot of, a lot of horsepower in this thing. I just burned it almost to the ground there. It's time to clean it up. And when I opened it up, the cement was so old in there that I just needed to do a whole new thorough cleaning. So this is a, an easy little setup, a little easy cleanup. But like I say, if you're not familiar with this stuff, don't do it. And if you guys like all this stuff, let me know what you guys think. And I also have another show. If you guys want to learn more about PCs, computers, and other stuff, I have another show that's all based on this. This is a gaming show. I talk about the hardware, software, even games. I play a lot of the games. Uh, but this is pretty much a solid little setup um, to clean up your GPU and to continue gaming on. So if you guys like any, um, what I'm, oh, five, four, three, two. So if you guys like anything, or have any questions put them down below I'll, I'll try to make a video for you every single one of them there's so many people with all these questions i'm doing a video a week i'm trying to do a video a week for those questions that are coming in uh but like i said any comments let me know uh i could email you back some information and if you have um need extra support on that uh say you run into a problem where something's not booting up um give me the details i'll probably break it down and let you know what it could be and you could test a couple of things out too i'm your host prophet 74 Hit that like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, put them down below in your comments. Out.